Ladies and gentlemen, I'm reading a Forbes article. Trump aide reportedly took classified documents to Mar-a-Lago after Federal Bureau of Investigation raid. Interesting. So, a staffer or an informant, one of the informants, possibly planted classified data after the Bureau raid. Does it make any sense that Trump would say, these classified, de- these classified uh, markings, let's add more of them, they're fantastic. In the minds of the morally superior, highly educated, almost always apoplectic liberal Democrats who are absolutely wonderful people, this is totally possible. Trump actually wanted to add more classified data because that's just how bad he is. Does it make any sense? Of course it doesn't. Here's what you may have missed in the probes into Trump, Biden, and Pence. Oh, interesting. So Pence is also involved. We talked about that. He'll he'll likely go, uh, he could very well go to jail for perjury. I explain, um, I explain why in the segment yesterday, is it possible? Yes. And I explain why it's possible, but this is complete nonsense. Trump is not going to add more classified data to Mar- He's not going to bring more classified data to Mar-a-Lago. Okay. It was almost certainly planted by somebody. New revelations Friday about how classified documents ended up in Mar-a-Lago, with multiple outlets reporting that a junior aide to former President Trump brought one box there after the Bureau raid. Adding new information to the sagas of secret documents held by Trump, President Biden, and former Vice President Mike Pence. Gee, you know what they didn't do? They didn't have private servers siphoning top-secret intel outside of the U.S. government. That was Madam Secretary. But now everything is morally relative. It's all, it's all relative. They're all bad. Except if you understand and you know politics, you understand what's going on. Some are infinitely worse than others. I think Hillary Clinton will be the 24 nominee. So, for the Democratic Party. But anyway, this is just one uh, article here. Classified uh, Trump schedules were moved to Mar-a-Lago after Bureau search sources. Junior staffer took the box, including some classified documents, from a government leased office in Palm Beach to Mar-a-Lago. Okay, so this is almost certainly either not a deliberate attempt by the junior staffer, somebody either gave that staffer or the person, him or herself, did so willingly, somebody, an informant, somebody planted almost certainly, information to be sent to Mar-a-Lago to continue to fan the flames of this meaningless, completely devoid of any, like, seriousness. There's such a meaningless, uneventful investigation. He's a former president with the ability to declassify anything. He was the commander-in-chief, okay? Not one day did Democrats accept him as the commander-in-chief, and then they react in righteous indignation when he doesn't accept certain results. But here, when you look, here's a Guardian article. They want you to believe, and this could be true, it could be true that a Trump staffer took more classified documents after the Bureau raid. But... You have to ask yourself, Donald Trump's lawyers have found a box of schedules, including some that were marked classified, because a junior staffer to the former president had transported from another office. The former president does not appear to have played a direct role in the mishandling of the box, though he remains under investigation for the possible improper retention of national security documents, an obstruction of justice. All they do is they investigate based on suspicion they would never they would never allow leveled against themselves and then they say well he obstructed justice it's like well you're only investigating because he's your direct political rival they project everything they accuse trump of they do themselves hit subscribe to this channel ladies and gentlemen okay special counsels now after pence the investigations are heating up they don't have policies they can fall back on they just have public relations Hit subscribe to this channel, to my new Patreons. Thank you. A super thanks is below next to the like and the share buttons. Your Patreon support is so greatly appreciated. If you enjoy this channel, thank you. Uh, That's below. It is moving. We're almost at 204,000 subscribers. Share this segment everywhere. 
So you have, and you can go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. So you have an informant who either deceived a staffer or a staffer inadvertently just added more classified documents. Does it make sense that this would happen? Or do you think maybe this is um, p- possibly, not, you can't say with certainty, but highly probable the way uh, the ODNI and DHS reports are written pertaining to Trump's involvement with Russia, highly probable and possible that they're running out of steam regarding this story and, okay, uh, multiple outlets are, are um, now coming out with CNN here. How a box of classified documents ended up in Trump's office months after the bureau search. Friday, February 24th. Gee, it's almost as if people were forgetting about this story. Wait, there's more. The Justice Department wants to know how a box containing a handful of classified records scattered among copies. So what they do is they'll almost certainly create a, a an absurd continuation they'll there's an informant somebody you know brings even more classified documents gee i mean weren't they on the lookout for classified data i mean why would that happen oh is it junior staffer you know and then they investigate then if anyone does anything to obstruct the investigation then it's obstruction of justice and so they pro it's process crimes they engage in lawfare They want to go after Trump, utilizing the full weight of the United States government, media, the legal system, and they can't find anything. They still haven't indicted Trump. You can indict Biden tomorrow on his um, Senate records. Tomorrow you could do so. Okay? You can indict Biden because he didn't have the right to declassify Senate documents. You could have indicted Hillary easily in 2016 for servers, computer servers, siphoning top secret intel. I mean, even the Honorable James Comey himself stated uh, laws were broken. You can watch the short on this channel where he speaks. 30,000 views. But I think what took place likely is somebody planted, classified, uh, somebody, an informant, a staffer, somebody who doesn't like Trump, said, how can we go ahead, or they moved classified data after the Bureau investigation. Could have been a mistake. Could have been like a junior staffer. It's likely either an informant or somebody within his um, inner circle or within, the, within you know, his team of people that handle classified data Desperately trying to continue this story because they don't like Trump or, you know, trying to undermine Trump's 24 campaign. Okay. It doesn't seem every like you have to continually ask, well, how come these coincidences, how come all of these little revelations in the news always help Democrats? How does that always happen? How does it always happen that, oh, gosh, you know, um, Pence has now? Well, the Biden thing, that is a controlled political demolition, okay? They don't want to go into 24 with Biden. And Biden is, like, so corrupt. If, if That's why they had to censor the New York Post. With Trump, they just make things up. And the people who despise Trump, like, close to half the country, or, like, probably less than half the country, will just eat it up and they'll believe anything. Um... But, like, the reality of the situation is you have Hunter's emails, you have the DNC emails showing Bernie Sanders was cheated, you have <clears throat> Clinton's private servers. These are far worse than anything Trump has ever done. You have, you have to know something about politics to understand. It's all about making things morally relative because Hunter and Hillary and Joe and Bill are far more corrupt than Trump, than they ever imagined Trump could be. Hunter's emails alone are worse than anything that was leveled against Trump. 
because he was never guilty of anything they leveled against him. Give me your thoughts below. And Hunter and Joe almost certainly are. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now.